and yarn. So yeah, look the drift. I'm gonna cook outside tonight. Just finished setting up, uh, knocked off, and quickly wanted to set this up to show you uh, the new annex has turned up. So you know we've been using the first we're using the um, classic awning, which is just the three poles which we took to Broken Hill. When we come back, uh, the multi-function awning turned up, which has got the side wings on it. So it's got the five poles, still three in the front. You can wind this, you know, roll the side wings up, but also had that extra cover, which is really good. And we would take that normally now. This one's just turned up and it's the uh, Wildlands Annex, we'll call it. Uh, so have a look, I'll just grab a bit of wood for the fire. Bit of uh, wood left over from Barrington Tops last weekend. So what we've got is basically, as you can see, a fully enclosed annex. Uh, it works the same, off three clips at the top here. But it's also got two extra clips on the front, so there's five clips, I suppose. Three in the top, same as the other ones. And another clip down here, which provides nice coverage. And as you can see, you can close it right in. So, uh, a couple of big windows. Now, if you had, you know, a child or a friend, you know, a couple of kids could sleep up the top and you could sleep down the bottom or whatever, but a stretcher along here would be perfect. Uh, close it right in. Now, yeah, there's a zip. Uh, here, so the, these walls, which is a zip here and here, uh, could be closed, <laughs> could be opened up. You've got a little uh, window there, it's nice, let some light in. A pocket there, so a bit of light, your window. So, yeah, we could unzip this and roll that up, put it on poles, or have that open. So, if you open up those two sections, it's going to be very similar to the multi function awning, really. Uh, but you've got the advantage of closing it right and I've got the front here rolled up and if I put that down you can imagine it's um, you know quite comfy and closed up uh, you know we're in the back of the truck a lot but once I've got everything here you know I'm right and it's not not very far to walk around or I could if I wanted to unzip this and you know we could duck out through here so so that's something that we could do as well uh, the bit of velcro there hooks up so you can sneak through there um, yeah but I think you know camping on your own a little bit different if you're camping where lots of people are around then you need a little bit of privacy and uh, you know obviously the rooftop tent you want to come down you know and get changed you could have a little table here and your bag on the table um, lots of room to get changed, you've got privacy. There'll be nothing stopping you putting a little portable toilet in the corner as well. Uh, and you know, close it up, you've got full privacy. So, you know, everybody's doing a different setup, and even everybody camps differently in different occasions. So, but this is another option in the range. I think it doesn't take much longer really to set up than the multi function awning. Because I've been setting up with five poles, so there's five ropes, five pegs, pretty quick. But here you've only got one bow, okay? So it's just a single bow, runs through. So it all folds up, slide it through, hooks into the bottom. It's got a single bow, so there's no poles at all. Two ropes. The only thing you do have to do though is peg it out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pegs. Okay, that don't take too long. And uh, that's it. Now if it got sort of super wet there's nothing to stop you bringing your fire a bit closer and also this here um, could go out as an awning it's got eyelets in it so you could use this as a uh, as an awning up high um, yeah now we've got plenty of room for a little kitchen here still and I've got this light set up in now so I've got the boys to chuck this little point in here Look at that. 
so that's been real good. It's working great. So still roof rack I've got, and what I've been doing at night time, just turn this right down on orange and leave it on like that. Got the dimmer. So that's I've been leaving that on at night time. So you know you get up during the night, go to the toilet or whatever, and you've got some light. That works really well during the during you know cooking dinner. You've got that here. And uh, what I've also been doing our little solar puffs. These things are magic. There's colour one. And that, so that can just hook on here. That's really good. You know, some little burner. Obviously you've got to be a little careful, but I think you got a pot on there. You know, I could put my windshield up and uh, that'll be fine. Maybe what I could do is move this whole bench over a little bit, which wouldn't hurt. But I do have a windshield for this as well. So IGT off the side here. I've been using my little corner table, which is great. And a ton of room. We probably put a little table up here with our bags on it. And you've just done that extra little setup to be, be a little bit more comfortable. Um, particularly if the wind's blowing, if you're, you know, if you're going somewhere Friday night and you're going to stay in the one spot for two days, you know, Friday, Saturday night, then this would be ideal. So, that's it. That's the Drifter Annex. I'm going to get the charcoal on in a sec. Um, yeah, pretty good little setup. If you're camping Friday, Saturday night, in the one place, I reckon I'll be taking this. And if I'm sort of travelling day to day, I'll take the the uh, multifunction awning with the, the side wings on it. Uh, now, also, if you have a look here, go back down. But if you had a few days of bad weather as well, you're up the tops, pouring rain. You know, you could be really cosy in there. You could bring just your charcoal inside you know if it's really cold now, if it's really cold weather bring a bit of charcoal inside now, you'd be cozy as now if I wanted to stay for a few days too and I bought my wing awning around all right um, that the pole could go a bit of an angle here and I've got coverage right around so I could still put that wing awning up and that'd be really good um, Another thing I'll show you while I'm here, I want to take photos but I've run out of light. This is something we're making up. Hey Scotty, do you want to bring that, um, Scotty's come for dinner. Do you want to bring that Respect the Bush bag over for us? So what these are, is I've got a small carabiner, right, and uh, so this is a Thanks, bud. Right here. This is the carabiner that we're using for the um, ratchet straps. You can see the size. So we've got a, these are big and strong and heavy, rated to I think they started to deform at 800 kilos. So you know. Now, if you just want to tie a swag on, respect the bush bag. You don't need something light. So with the carabiner, you can connect over anything. And this piece is going to be 1500 long. On the other end, you've got a little thumb, thumb clip, right? So that's all uh, you need. And this is just a few prototypes we've been mucking around with. Now, what this is really good for is your respective bush bags on the back of the truck. So that's never going to let go. Get another one here. Nice and light. You can hook them on anywhere, and that's never going to let go. You know, if, we, if if we had what I've showed you before in some videos with just a long strap, it just it keeps want to, you know, when you go to pull it, it just keeps want to turn. It's nice to have it anchored, you know, so you got a solid. So. Uh, these will be on the website pretty soon. This is Australian military webbing, okay, and we're making these ourselves a drifter. I'm not gonna 
worry about rating these because they're just a light, you know, for a swag. Um, you know, I reckon these would probably hold 200 kilos if we if we rated them, but not necessarily. They're just a little um, thumb strap, so uh, that's what they're ideal for. And that's it there. So I think they're going to be around 39 dollars. We're making them ourselves in Australia, right here at Drifter. Two carabiners. These are stainless steel carabiners. They're not cheap to buy. High quality stainless steel. You know, if you went to a marine shop and bought one of those, they'd, they'd charge you 10 bucks just for that. And there's going to be four in the pack, right? So, um, and they're really good. These are really good uh, uh, thumb strap as well. So that's those, and uh, that's the the annex. We're going to cook up some dinner. And uh, well, we're going to cook Scotty some dinner. So, all right, guys. Thanks for that.